I saw something last night, and I look, I knew the Eagles were falling apart, right? We we could all see that. You didn't have to be, you don't have to be a, a former head coach in the NFL to see that the Eagles were literally falling apart. Rob, getting worse by we, the week. We were in denial, Chris. We were in denial. I, yeah. I last night watching them, I'm like, why did I think they they could win or they could get it turned around. We were in denial because yep. cause of their run last year. They made it to the Super Bowl. They were done. It, we, we, were, we were in denial. They were done. And, 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 and credit to Tampa Bay and Baker Mayfield. We'll talk about him, Chris. They shredded them. They, they, were, they were in total domination in that game. Total. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't understand what happened to them. Because even when they were 10-1, and one, Rob, and a lot of people were talking about, even they were talking about, well, we're not playing well. You know, they Remember that. We kept saying out. they're not the 10-1 and one dominating Yeah, 10 and, and they one. Were, weren't blowing anybody out. But, Rob, six of those 10 wins came against playoff teams. I mean, they beat Kansas City. They beat Dallas. They beat Buffalo. Like, they were, even though they weren't blowing teams out, they still were beating good teams. And all of a sudden, they just fell apart. The San Francisco game, but Rob, I I stopped like even up until up through the Arizona loss. Obviously, they were playing horribly, but I was like, I still thought there was a glimmer of hope. Like they'll 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 turn it around. The New York Giants loss in the season finale when they were essentially blown out by the Giants. Right. Down big early on. That's when I was like, it's over. And then, Rob. But did you think they were going to lose this game? No, I, no, I was. I, I No, I picked okay. them. And I also thought the Cause Cowboys I picked them too. lost. Not that they were afraid of the Cowboys. I don't think they were afraid of the Cowboys. But my point is, I thought they would look at the Cowboys game and be like, you know what? This is new. Right? The Cowboys were playing great. And they go out and have a stinker. We've been playing badly. Let's go out and have a great game. We know it's in us. Right. We just got to shake off the last month and a half, two months, and do be ourselves. Like, but, Rob, what I saw last night was I, it was not a normal loss to me. Like, I even think the Cowboys, which was more surprising, right, that loss to me, it was more surprising. But the Cowboys – even though they choked, and I don't think they obviously didn't play well, I didn't think they were sleepwalking. What I saw from the Eagles, Rob, was a team that was dejected, dispirited, lacked confidence, lacked desire. We had defenders bumping into each other. Right, we had picking defenders. each other off, picking yes. each other off, right. They had 13 missed tackles. The e- the. Buccaneers had 219 yards after the catch. And, Rob, I feel like I could count on one hand how many times a Buccaneer ball carrier was tackled on first contact. Right. Right. And Somebody Chris, would hit him, and he might drag him three or four more yards, spin, get away from him. It was some of the big plays the Buccaneers had to do should have been tackled by four guys. Right. A lot of it was tackling Chris, not tackling, grabbing people high, uh, like around the neck, like not yep. tackling, hitting them, not, not wrapping, wrapping people up. over, right? Hitting people, and you're right. There were times when a guy would be touched by four people and still keep going, and nobody could bring him down. And and a lot of Chris, we talk about it all the time: punching of the football, trying to strip yep. people rather than bring yep. them down. I understand people want turnovers and are trying to get the football. But to do that and, and and let the guy get another seven or eight yards when you're punching at the football ready rather than tackling him makes no sense to me. No, it, it was it was ridiculous, and the offense wasn't much better. Um, that, I mean, and they, they, I they thought they got they back in the, the game with the big with night. the big but with the big the, play, yep. and they came within a touchdown. I'm like, uh, hey, because because remember, Tampa was settling for threes, Chris, right? Yep. And I was like, they were in this game now; they're only down by uh, seven. Uh, was it eight or was it sixteen? Well, it was sixteen and nine. Sixteen seven. and nine because they missed. But I'm saying, you remember right. they they went for two, right? And I do think that was big because I thought Sirianni. I get what he was trying to do, but I think he should have just kept the extra point. It wasn't like there's not much of a difference between being down five and six. 
No. So I think what he was trying to do with the tush push, remember they got the penalty on the field, extra point. So he said, oh, we're closer to the goal line. Let's right, let me just push it and get two, and then right. you make the game uneven. You got all the momentum, right? And I think he's thinking, okay, we, we'll exert our power over them. And instead, when they don't get it for, you know, I mean, they rarely miss. I thought that was big mentally because it was like, oh, like I knew they weren't there after they didn't get that tush push. But, Rob, I, I, the only thing in sports. And, and you, Chris, you let's say this even, just for a note. Let's say the, the Bucks are the only team stopped them twice on that tush push. Only, only the Bucks. They stopped them in the earlier part yep. of the game in the yep. season when Philly bit him by two touchdowns. So that, so that, that's, that's they did Vita it twice. Vey, I think, I think Vita Vey has something to do with that well, on the ahead. Tampa Bay line. But Rob, to me, and I don't know if you saw it like I did, but I felt like I just felt like I saw I was watching darn near zombies out there. I didn't think they were in the in the. They looked like they were somewhere else mentally and emotionally. And the only thing I can compare it to was remember LeBron in the 2011 finals against the Mavericks. Right. When after they're up 2-1 and then he just kind of disappears. Like he didn't look like himself for the next few games. What do I always say? Turn to goo. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah. I thought that's what this was, except it was a whole team and it was for about two months. But that is what, like, that's the only thing I can compare it to where they just, I mean, Brad, James Bradbury was a freaking pro bowler last year, and he looked like one of us trying to tackle guys. I mean, it was ridiculous, and um, it was bad, Rob. So do you think Sirianni has to go because of this? I, I'm going to say, Chris, and you know me, I was like, oh, you're always trying to fire everybody. I'm going to say no. And I'm going to say this. I told you before, I thought it was going to be very difficult anyway to try to run it back and make the same well, run, the Chris. Super Bowl hangover. Yeah, the and, and they lost their offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, yep. some defensive yep. players. And I told you I never believed Jalen Hurts was going to put together, not that he was going to be a bomb or terrible, Chris. Right but not play like he played last year. That was out of nowhere. He went from, I don't know if he can throw the ball consistently to be a starting quarterback in the NFL, to an MVP candidate, right, like right, overnight. Right. And I was right. like, God, how could that happen? And is he going to be able to duplicate that or stay on that kind of level? And he hasn't been able to do that this year. Those are just no, facts. That's, that, that, that can't be denied. Jalen Hurts has to look in the mirror. He was not himself. Rob, I think with him... And maybe I'll be wrong, but I wouldn't be surprised if in a week or two, I don't think it'll be that long from now, that we hear, oh, he's going to have some No, nah, I think he's hurt, surgery, Chris. Yeah, you know, arthroscopic little cleanup, you know what I mean, where something he could play through, but it was bothering him. I wouldn't be shocked at all if that happens. I actually expect it. Um, I'm with you on Syria. Look, Bill Belichick, available – that's definitely something that piques my interest if I'm the Eagles. And to me, Rob, it's a nuanced answer. That What I saw last night and really over the past month and a half, two months, and last night was just the pinnacle of it, I thought I saw a team where this is beyond football. This is beyond not having great players because we know they do have a lot of great players. But this – looks like something is going on in that organization or something is going on in that locker room that ruined this team. I don't know if, and I might, I'm just speculating, but I'm just going by what I saw. I don't know if, would, did something happen between players or groups of players? Um, or is it simply that they lost complete faith in Nick Sirianni and the rest of the coaches. I, I, something I, It's beyond football, Rob. No, I hear you because something did happen. But, Chris, I Players I keep thought, saying, y'all don't know what happened. And we don't. We don't know but what happened. But it seems like something. And that's my point with quickly with Sirianni, Rob. If it was like something out of his control, maybe there was a beef between two players or factions of players that – it was just, he couldn't, you know, it's something that won't hang around next year, but it was something that ruined this year. 
the, and the players still have his back, then I think you can keep him. But if it's as simple as, you know what, he lost him. Hurts doesn't believe in him. Kelsey's going to retire, it seems. But, you know, Kelsey lost. He lost Kelsey. He lost the leaders of that locker room because they don't believe him. Then I think he has to go because you need – you can't have that type of situation. But if it's something else, and I don't know, that's why I'm saying I'm, I got to do a deep dive if I'm the leadership in Philadelphia – and find out what really to make the sure problem. there's they may not already know. But right, there might be like a dead rat stuck behind the refrigerator. You know what right. I mean? I mean, it really might be Rob. I mean, I'm serious. I played basketball in college. You know, it was small college, but still, things happen, man. Sometimes between teammates, and it can throw off the chemistry. And so, I don't know if something like that happened. I, I have no idea. I'm just saying, it looks to me like something. Is is going on emotionally with that team, and if it stems from Sirianni, then he's. I think he has to go. If it's something else, then they can keep him.